Hey, good morning. A very quick follow-up about the Harbor Freight Cider Press. Whenever you modify something to make it do something else, you run the risk of it not meeting all of your expectations. I heard from Noble Cider that they had bent the traveling beam on their press. And I was kind of wondering how they did that. Mine hadn't bent. And then um, I've been pressing a lot lately, just like they do production runs. And yes, I bent my traveling beam. And you can see it down there. I'm going to hold this. There you go. You can see that it is very distinctly bent. And the reason being is that the jack sits over the press pin, and that's where it's supposed to put pressure. But when you've got your uh, press racks out there and on the other end, you're pushing up on the sides, and it wasn't meant for that. Well, that's an inconvenience. It's not terrible, but it has another unintended side effect. The top of the bottle jack has a pin that rests in a cup welded to the top. Well, each time that the traveling beam bends, the, cup, it, the jack doesn't set as firmly up in the cup, and you need to remember to keep an eye on it and adjust the... Um, screw top to fit in there. I wasn't paying attention. I walk around. I heard a big boom two days ago and mine had walked out of the cup and I crushed and tore the top of the cup. Now it's set in there now but that's going to get repaired and welded up later. What I decided was time to make a traveling beam that was not a compromise for pressing cider. What I did is I got two lengths of two inch tubing stock with quarter inch thick walls. You know, there's a lot of steel now resting vertically and horizontally. And I welded those up. I used 35 thousandths wire and set appropriately for quarter inch steel, a little thicker actually, a little, ran, a little hotter. And I laid down a really nice bead there all the way across the top and the bottom so that they are truly fused together. Um, clean those surfaces up, all the good welding stuff you're supposed to do. And then just weld it on little pieces of angle on the ends, pretty much what was on the original one, to make a much more robust traveling beam. The other kind of advantage is you also get, you don't have to work around that pin you have the choice of either putting taller stacks or just another piece of wood in there. So it is now more of a cider press than it was before and it's still a very good cider press. So I want to point that out to you that if you know someone who welds or whatnot, this is a really cheap fix. When you build your new traveling beam, I made a mistake, I had to cut and re-weld one thing. Make sure you give yourself enough end play on the sides in enough outer play that this can move freely. The beam can move freely between the arbors or the you know the verticals. I made mine a little too snug. I just whacked off an end and welded a little bit more on. So that is my hack to the Harbor Freight Cider Press. Get rid of the pin. I will bend that back and still save it because I do use this for pressing stuff every now and then, like bearings and the like. But I won't be fighting those wood blocks strapped to the top anymore. Um, I have a, a rail travel beam. Okay, that's it. I hope this helps any of you out who are thinking about building one. Uh, what you get is good enough. This is much better. Bye-bye.